1981's The Fun House is packed to the brim with an array of macabre imagery. To me, the most frightening visuals were not that of the film's main monster, but instead the strange and off-putting animatronics tucked deep within the bowels of the Funhouse attraction itself. These things always gave me the creeps. You see them throughout the movie, especially after the kids have stayed behind within the attraction in their attempt to spend the night there, but I think you get the best look at these things during the film's opening credit sequence, where you see them on full display in all their horrible glory. I mean, if this isn't nightmare fuel, I don't know what is. There's also that scene where the funhouse is being shut down for the night, and you see everything sort of getting powered down, and boy is it a spooky vibe unto itself. I don't know about you, but that creepy lady thing with the gnashing teeth and sharp nails is one of the freakiest animatronics I've ever seen. But I won't give all the credit to the animatronics in the funhouse itself, because there's some much needed respect owed to the one and only fat lady out front of the attraction itself. While she's funny and goofy and all that stuff, there's a frenetic creepiness to this animatronic that I find to be pretty unnerving, especially at the end of the film when she appears to be laughing at the film's final girl. I still haven't been able to figure out if the movie is quietly suggesting that these things are sentient or not, but who knows, right? What I do know is this. The animatronics in the funhouse are absolute nightmare fuel.